Good morning again, year one, and um, thank you for sending me lots of lots of lovely work yesterday and lots of lovely uh, draw with raw pictures as well. They were nice and colourful, and I'm sure you had fun doing those. Okay, today we're looking at some spelling in the morning. We're looking at spelling using all of the different word endings that we use in year one, and these word endings have a special name that the juniors are very familiar with, and we need to get to know as we move up the school. And that name is suffixes. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the suffixes that we have learned so far this year. So. A suffix is something that we need to add to the end of a word that changes its meaning. It changes that word to a new word. So this is the very first one we learned, the very, very first week of year one. The suffix s can be added to nouns as a suffix. This tells us that there is more than one of the thing, more than one object. And remember, I'm always telling you about that word. When there is more than one of something, it is called a plural. So the plural of do dog, one dog, singular dog, if there's more than one dog, we've got dogs. So here we have two dogs, and it's just a simple S at the end, okay? But it's not always as simple as that, is it? Because sometimes when we have plurals, we have ES to the end. Usually if it's making another syllable in the word, you're going to hear two parts of the word. So dogs is just one thing. But when you hear the word dresses, you can hear that there's two parts to that, and it sounds like an is part at the end. So dresses, churches, foxes, foxes. Now that sounds like is, I said, but we all know it's not I said, is it? It's ES, we add ES to the end. So one fox or lots of foxes. One bus, the plural of buses, buses. Okay, so they're the first two. So I've got two words here on my board. I have bowl and church. And I want you at home to write down the plural. So if I have one bowl or three Bowls. How would I spell bowls? I have one church or four churches. So both everyone at home right now, can you write down bowls and churches, the plural of these two words, and I will do it at the same time as you will see who can do it the quickest. So we have bowls, just one, one syllable in that word, bowls. It just has the S, but when you, we say the word Churches, we can hear there's two beats in that word. So we have church is, but we of course know that it's spelled E-S. We've done lots and lots of practice on that, so I think you're pretty much experts on it by now. But we have some other suffixes in year one we've learned as well. So we have things that could be added to doing words, to verbs. So we have ing, ed, and er. And here we have an example. We have the verb to pull. We have pulling. Pulled, if it's in the past, like I always talk about Uncle Ed, he liked to do things in the past. He liked to add his name to the end of things he did in the past, Uncle Ed. And someone who does the pulling is a puller, okay? Of course, we have our last couple of suffixes in year one. We have er and est, and these are the added to the end of describing words to adjectives to compare things. So I've here, I've got an example. I have slow, slow, slow. And I can add some endings to these to make these different words to compare them. So let's look at the ones on the screen first of all. Actually, we've got fast. Annie is fast. I am faster. Mila is the fastest. These are words we're using with comparing things. I've got some examples here. So I have slow. I can make another word. Slower. I can make another word. Slowest. Who's the slowest? Who's the, who is slower and who is slow? You can make different ones. Okay, so what I want you to do this morning is, we flip over on this screen, to log on to your Education City and you've got an activity. It's labelled with today's date. It's called Row and Behold. And it's practice just like yesterday, similar to yesterday. Practice reading these words and practice putting the right suffixes on the end of each word. And you've also got on your Seesaw account, a matching worksheet okay so the first part of the worksheet says cross out the words after you've used it the first one has been done for you you have to choose the correct word to put in the sentence now once you do so once you've decided what you want to is always read the sentence back aloud so you can see if it sounds right because sometimes we can spot our own mistakes when we do things like that we can say that doesn't sound quite right i'll have another look so you've got a couple of those questions you have six of those questions and then you have another question add the ending to the following words for so for this bit <coughs> you're just choosing the correct suffix there's six to choose from 
that go at the end of each word. So let's have a look at this one. Steak was fast than granny. I'm sure you all know what the answer is for that, okay? Steak was faster than granny. Because if you said steak was fastest than granny, it wouldn't sound right, would it? Okay, so best of luck with that. I'll be back soon with some hand to surprise English and we've got some more addition in maths, okay? So see you soon. Bye-bye.